Hello everyone and Merry Christmas as we are starting our Christmas Novena today, December 15. I'm Father Edward Hanna from Our Lady of the Cedars Church, Houston, Texas. Let us read together the passage from the Gospel of St. John, chapter 7, verse 11 to verse 18. The Apostle John writes, The Jews were looking for Jesus at the feast and saying, Where is he? And there was considerable murmuring about him in the crowds. Some said, He is a good man, while others said, No, on the contrary, he misleads the crowd. Still, no one spoke openly about him because they were afraid of the Jews. When the feast was already half over, Jesus went up into the temple area and began to teach. The Jews were amazed and said, how does he know scripture without having studied it? Jesus answered them and said, My teaching is not my own, but is from the one who sent me. Whoever chooses to do his will shall know whether my teaching is from God or whether I speak on my own. Whoever speaks on his own seeks his own glory, but whoever seeks the glory of the one who sent him is truthful, and there is no wrong in him, the word of God. Brothers and sisters, what a beautiful passage to start with and to meditate on during our Christmas novena. The first verse, the Jews were looking for Jesus, really an inspirational verse, because there is people, there were people looking for Jesus. They want him. Are we looking for Jesus in our life? or we are looking for different things. We are really scattered in many problems, in uh, searching for our pleasures, or of our worries. Today, there is a clear invitation. Look for Jesus in your life. Search for Him. He is there waiting for you. And of course, we can look to the passage and see that the crowd were divided between people. They were like really looking for Jesus as a good man, and others, they were thinking that he, he was misleading the people. Are we looking for Jesus because he's a good man? He's like inspirational leader? Or we are looking for him because he's our Savior, our Lord and God. He gives meaning to my life. He gives purpose to my life. That's why I'm looking for him. And how we look, we look to Jesus now. And how we look for him through our prayers. When we pray, we go in contact with the Lord. When we participate in the divine liturgy, we look, we look for Jesus. That's why in the beginning of the Christmas Novena, we are invited to participate as much as we can. Through social media, in person if we can, we are invited to participate in many and different events in our parishes. To participate in the Christmas Novena, to participate in Biblical Evening, for example, or spiritual retreat. We can also ask for confession. In all these manners, in all these opportunities, we are looking for Jesus because he is my Savior. And also, Jesus revealed something very important about himself. His teaching is not from him as Jesus, son of Joseph. His, teach his teaching is coming from God because he is son of God. So when Jesus was teaching, he was teaching in the name of God he is, because he is God and son of God. That's why we believe in him, we are following his, teach, his teaching because we know his teaching is a salvation for us, for our families, for our society, and for the whole world. So, let us start our Christmas retreat, our Christmas novena, looking for him, searching for this baby who is our savior, and believing in his teaching, and also following what he's telling us. Amen. God bless you and Merry Christmas.